Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Yukon. That generation here from year 2007 to year 2014. If you guys have one of those, if you have a problem where a horn does not work, in this video today we'll explain the top things that we see here in the garage that can cause that, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time. Why guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, how that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure it's the until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, electrical, engine codes, almost absolutely everything. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. We have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And on this channel alone today guys, we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL why let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located where fuel injector fuse is located uh, all you have to do watch the video one two minutes you replace that fuse you're back on the road so we make it for your convenience guys please subscribe to the channel like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way do not waste money and time so let's start on it now so if the horn does not work what can easily cause that now guys we will demonstrate on that generation gmc yukon right here if you guys have a yukon xl it will work as well practically the same vehicle it's just a little bit longer the first thing that we will recommend is to check the fuse for the horn which is located under the hood open the hood and here on the driver's side you see you have that box open that cover and under that cover you're going to find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys if the horn doesn't work which fuse we need to check okay that's one of the horns you usually have two of them high tone and low tone by the way if you need to buy any fuses parts tools relays horns anything for gmc yukon or other cars at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste money and time here the fuse guys for the horn you wonder where it's located check that row of fuses here that last one that 15 amp fuse that's your horn fuse that you need to check now if it's not the fuse what else can easily cause that guys okay it could be the wiring going to the horn sometimes okay it may be loose sometimes it's under the car okay uh, uh, it could be broken if you run over something it could be guys the horn switch itself okay on the steering wheel or you have that device right here that's known as a quark spring that's between the steering wheel and the steering column and it transfers the wire signal from the steering wheel to the steering column okay you can see it has internal wires and if it's broken okay the horn may not work as well those are the most common things we see at the garage hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time